It's a unique golf tournament that aims to highlight nine of our area's premier golf courses from Genoa all the way to the Dayton Valley. Here's a look at the 15th annual Divine Nine Golf Tournament. This cart, this cart, this cart, this cart, this cart. We're going out to 17. It's not your typical round of golf. Nine courses. Two holes each. I'm piecing the puzzle together as we speak. And 12 hours. I saw the sunrise and I'm seeing the sunset. This is the Divine Nine road trip. From tee box to tee box, 20 journalists from all over the country got to experience nine of the area's golf courses in a one day grind. What a great opportunity and what a great experience. From Genoa to the Dayton Valley to the Carson Valley, it's a golfer's paradise nestled in the heart of the Sierra. First of all, the golf courses are phenomenal. They're maintained well. You can play longer here throughout the year. But if you take a look behind me and look at the scenery, that kind of sums it all up, doesn't it? The Divine Nine consists of 171 holes and more than 70,000 yards of play. And despite the hazard of 10 carts hauling from hole to hole, there's no denying this road trip is a good form of publicity. It's a great opportunity for us. There's a lot of people in the industry, the writers, radio personalities, whoever, we need a little exposure. So this is a great way for us to have you out. On this day, it's not about knocking in the best shot. Hole in one last year, aced it. Watch, it's going to go on the water this time. <laughs> The goal is to have a good time on these northern Nevada links. Faded around that 800-year-old oak up there. And spread the word. It was one of the best days of my life. The high desert is a divine golf destination. And one of those players, Bill Felson from Arizona, actually earned a spot to play in this tournament after winning an essay contest. He is going to write about his story traveling through the Divine Nine, and it will be published in the Golf Channel's magazine. And I do want to give a big shout out to the entire Carson Valley and all of the courses for having us out there. I, by the way, was one of just two ladies, and I think that we fared pretty well. So thanks, guys, for uh, letting us tag along.